Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, <laughs> we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. No, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Last I heard, he settled down and got married. Hmm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want a bit against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn fight. Right. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady. You're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Come on, Nathan Drake. Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. <laughs> Don't telegraph so much. 
I'm just trying to make it fair. <sighs> nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. Oh, how sweet. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? <laughs> You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! I look. I'm still a little jet-lagged. How about we just call it even? Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart-ass? Well, you know... Being a smart-ass has gotten me this far in life. Why quit now? Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up without it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Can we update it? Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the garden like life. a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress? I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I'll listen to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out? <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. <sighs> ah, crap. <sighs> you gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have known you from last time. Uh, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot them yet. <laughs> Not want to hurry, then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in Kings Bay? 
You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. Well, I'll leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross that... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! Mango! Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. There's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> Forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just... Just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. Oh, so be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now. You're a businessman. Let's just... Let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'll be here with you have in mind. 
Oh. <clears throat> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... Uh, you want to find Avery's treasure? Uh, we'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time! Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down the second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you! Hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it, or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen! Ah! 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 Almost done here? This is the last of a man. Good. If we are, we can catch up with the others. <sighs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for Avery's ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandon you. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've done. Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am.
thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now, come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl. By all means. <laughs> What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with his treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! <laughs> <laughs> 